This episode of The Young Turks brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook at audiblepodcast.com slash TYT. So Fox News, of course, is legendary. Uh, uh, war on Christmas uh, that they have uh, alleged is happening throughout the country. In fact, I actually went back and checked out uh, one of their first clips in 2006 about it, and O'Reilly was largely joking. And he kept saying, am I being dumb about this? And his guests were basically saying, yeah. Even Michelle Malkin wasn't really playing along. But what's interesting is, since then, in the uh, four years afterwards, uh, they've gotten serious about it. They must have gotten good audience reaction from it. Being the actors that they are, they're like, oh, yeah, well, I meant the war on Christmas is totally real. And I can't believe people would say happy holidays. We've got a little compilation for you guys of O'Reilly on the warpath about this over the last four years. He's gotten more and more angry about it as the years went by. Secular progressives, which are driving this movement, okay, don't want Christmas. They don't want it as a federal holiday. They don't want any message of spirituality or Judeo-Christian tradition because that stands in the way of gay marriage, legalized drugs, euthanasia. I think the backlash against stores that don't say Merry Christmas is enormous. Every company in America should be on its knees thanking Jesus for being born. We now don't call it the Christmas break. It's the winter break, as if people worship winter. The other thing is, I don't believe most people who aren't Christian are offended by the words Merry Christmas. I think those people are nuts. I think you're crazy if you're offended by the words Merry, Merry Christmas. Well, then Season's put, greetings and happy holidays, Bill, does not offend Christians. Yes, it does. Uh, absolutely does. Um, and I know that for a fact. He knows it for a fact. The words happy holidays are outrageous. They offend all Christians. It must be Merry Christmas. So it's interesting that one of our uh, viewers, let me give him credit, Michael DeSantis, went on the Fox News Channel website and found a Fox News shop, and guess what they were selling? And guess what they were saying? Let's look. And there's a screen grab from there until they maybe change it one day, although I think they've done this in the past as well. There it is. Happy holidays. That is outrageous. How dare they? Do you know how many uh, Christians are offended in this country? when you say happy holidays. And look at that, there's Glenn Beck gear, there's Sean Hannity gear, there's snow on there. Snow is outrageous. It's not part of the Christian part of Christmas. What happened is Fox News Channel's own website, own gear where they're making money. How dare they say happy holiday? You know what? O'Reilly's not done. This compilation that we're showing you, by the way, interestingly enough, put together by John Kim. Jonathan Kim when he was at Brave New Films. Here's some more. Business community says we don't want to offend anybody. So we're not going to say Merry Christmas. We're going to say Happy Holidays, all right? That offends millions of Christians, see? I think those people are nuts. You know, business is business. It, it's out to make a profit, and it doesn't want to alienate potential customers. Yeah, but that, you know that's so it, dopey, uh, Father. So you don't buy the, the take that they're trying to be inclusive with the companies being, that have that position on. on. This is insulting to Christian America. This is insulting to Christian America. I can't believe how Fox News would insult all these Christians. How dare they? I'm sure that uh, this will be in tomorrow's Talking Points memo for Bill O'Reilly about how his own station has grossly offended all these Christian Americans. What a moron Bill O'Reilly is. Anna, we got a new sponsor, Audible.com. Go. I love Audible.com because they have over 75,000 titles to choose from, and you can download on both your iPod or your MP3 player. They're actually the largest provider of downloadable digital audiobooks, so you can choose any book you like. And if you go through us, you actually get a free audiobook of your choice, which is a pretty good deal. So go to audiblepodcast.com slash TYT.